Hello everyone, my name is Vim PF and welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey Reviews number 10. Today we're going to be looking at the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Barrel Proof. Uh, as I said in my previous video, I don't have much left of this and um, I'll explain why as I'm, I'm opening it up. Now, um, I recently attended a Wild Turkey tasting courtesy of the Birmingham Whiskey Club. I forget how much I paid for the ticket, I'll have to check that out. Uh, and we tried get rid of that. We tried um, something like six different products from Wild Turkey ranging from American Honey all the way up to uh, to a 17 year old which is rare for a bourbon and um, this for me came in best of the night. Now they gifted it to me um, to review on the channel so thank you very much to Birmingham Whiskey Club and um, of course there will be a link in the description below for you to check them out if you're in the area, they do lots of events um, and a annual festival which is fantastic, I go every year anyway as a paying customer. So uh, onto the whiskey itself, now this is a straight bourbon so that has to be in a barrel for a minimum of two years and uh, this one itself is actually a mixture of six, eight and twelve year old barrels of bourbon. And it's rare to see bourbons getting that old because they are quite heavily taxed on stock levels. Uh, Wild Turkey have quite a, quite an expansive warehouse, you can check them out on YouTube. Matthew McConaughey is like their their main guy so um, he, he does a cool little video about all the stuff they've got. Um, so and this is barreled, bottled sorry, at 112.8 proof which in the UK is equivalent of 56.4% alcohol per volume. So quite quite strong in comparison to the 40% that we will see generally. Um, and I'm going to compare this to other bourbons that I've had, stuff like the Bullet, the Four Roses, and the Buffalo Trace. Okay, so uh, let's give it a pour and have a smell. I think because there's so little left, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this. Why not? Yeah, go on. It's basically a double. Now this had to go around 30 people, so it's really fortunate even even that much was left to be fair. But I, a lot of people thought that the rye was better of the evening. I found it too harsh, too the spice is too overpowering for me. This is surprisingly mellow as, as I'll go through. So on the nose, it's, it's quite strong kind of um, sp uh, caramels that we used to smell in with scotches. Almost a bit nutty. Why not? Let's try. That's for something that's 56.4%. It's incredibly smooth. I mean, you know, you know it's not 40%. If you're used to drinking 40% scotches, you're going to be able to tell the difference. It's, it's strong, but it's so full of flavour from the barrels and the mixtures of the different aged whiskies that it's, it's, it really is just a pleasure to drink. Now, the best thing I can say is to compare it to your 40% or your less than 100, 100 proof bourbons and they're so some of them can be quite vicious uh, I've got a bottle of bullet downstairs which I'm going to review at some point um, and it, but it's just so so vicious on the tongue um, it's really nice whiskey but you have to really concentrate to get past this kind of alcohol burn that, that's kind of synonymous with four-year-old and less bourbons they haven't had enough time to chill out in the cask and really get take time to become a full-bodied flavorful thing this is colour added, I understand, but to me, I don't think that makes any difference. I mean, it looks fantastic, but in this day and age, you really do yourself a disservice if you buy a whiskey based on its colour alone. There's so much out there that, that just added caramel to make you buy it that you, you really do need to just to taste it. Mm. Absolutely superb. This runs for about 50 quid in the UK. Obviously, it's a lot cheaper in the US, probably $42, something like that. Um, I've seen this for as little as £48, 
Um, the only thing we've had that's reached that sort of level so far was the old Pulteney Duncansby Heb head, which I'm probably still pronouncing wrong. Uh, in my opinion, this kicks the crap out of it. Um, that was fair enough. It was a litre, so it probably would be worth maybe forty pounds, thirty-five pounds if it was a proper sized bottle. But if if it was choose between a litre of that, seventy cell of this, this all the way. Um, I'm just uh, massively disappointed that I couldn't get more. That it was just only this that little bit left. If I could have got half a bottle for it, I would have been made up. Okay, well I think that's enough praise for the uh, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I think you'll, you've established I'm a big fan. I actually quite liked a lot of their other stuff. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of their American Honey. It was bottled at something like 23, 28%, something like that. It was just really weak, but just overpowering honey. Um, kind of the perfect thing to take up a mountain with you if you think you might have to stay there the night or something like that. The 101, lovely. Rise, not a huge fan of, I'll admit. Um, they're lovely to drink, but they're just a bit too much spice for me. Um, I would, would definitely buy a bottle, I would definitely have it, but given the choice between two of equal value, I would definitely go for the Wild Turkey 101, um, which is something like £30 if you can find it. Same as this one, you're not going to find it in the supermarket uh, unless it's a special, special event or something like that. You're going to have to go to a specialist, you're going to have to go online. But in today's climate, why not? You know, you, there's, there's such a vast amount of whiskey out there that if you limit yourself to what you find in Tesco's, then you're not gonna you're not gonna get all these experiences. Um, especially uh, bourbons making its making a massive entrance into the UK market. Uh, the more of this that's sold, the more is going to come over here, and um, we'll even find it on supermarket shelves eventually. Hopefully more specialist shops are going to come into a city near you. I know my local city doesn't have one, but I have to go to Birmingham, um, which is, is fine. Um, and that is the World Turkey Rare Breed. Now, uh, next week we are going to try uh, a sample, which is of the Canadian Club Sherry Cask. A fan, any fans of the show will know I'm a big fan of sherry cask stuff, very easy to drink. Um, this came from um, a sample pack called from the Dram team, but I'll go into detail about them more next week and what they do. Uh, and that should be should be great. So tune in next week for episode 11. I'm going to be doing these weekly now. Um, I think uh, everyone wants to see the reviews more than they want to see the present stuff. So we'll, we'll plug away at this. Uh, as always, likes, comments, and subscribes. You know, if you enjoy these these videos, they really do help, uh, and they you know make me want to do more and get this content out to you guys. I'm loving doing this stuff. Uh, Ten episodes in, going strong. 65 subscribers now. I'd love to hit 100 by the end of the year. So hit those buttons and keep things going. All right, we'll see you next week on No Nonsense Whiskey.